If you live in the St. Louis area, Crevecourt is one of the most desirable places to live. Crevecourt is one of the wealthiest suburbs of St. Louis, and so is nearby Ladue. What is up, YouTubers? If you're looking for a budget-friendly camera, but you still want great quality footage, I would highly suggest scrolling down to the link below to grab the GoPro Hero 9 Black. If that's still a little bit too expensive, too much more than you're wanting to spend, no problem, because GoPro also has the GoPro Hero 7 Black, which also provides great quality footage. So like I said, down below I have links for that, plus I have links for all of the other equipment that I use to make my videos on this channel. Go check them out. Crevecourt has consistently ranked as one of the best cities to live in the state of Missouri year in and year out. Nearby suburb Ladue has also been ranked in such lists. Both suburbs are incredibly affluent, and in this video I drive in mad circles around both suburbs and tell you more about them along the way. Well, let's get to it. Shall we? I do start the video while technically being within the city limits of the neighboring suburb of Town & Country. If you haven't seen my Town & Country video, you should check that one out, as it's basically just as affluent as both Crevecore and Ladue. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep track of the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Crevecore and Ladue can be found in my Missouri playlist or in my St. Louis suburbs playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts and those links are below. As I said, Crevecourt has consistently ranked amongst the best cities to live in Missouri for a while now. Crevecourt is home to 18,000 people and 68% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. The median value of owner-occupied housing units is $400,000 and the crime rates are below average. Niche.com gives Crevecourt an a on public schools, so you can't get much better than that. If the high rating of public schools still isn't good enough for you, there's plenty of great private schools to choose from in this neck of the woods as well. The name Crevecourt is French for, wait for it, heartbreak. That's weird. Apparently Crevecourt is named after Crevecourt Lake. Maybe an old Frenchman back in the late 1700s was rejected by a beautiful woman when proposing to her at the lake and decided to name it Crevecourt Lake. Otherwise, Heartbreak Lake. Who knows. Other than that, there's not much history to this place. Over time, the area known today as Crevecourt was taken over by suburban expansion and it has developed into a rich area with trust fund kids in every direction that you look.
It's difficult to see the homes in this area as many of them are behind tree lines to hide them from the main road. Here, however, I was able to find a small cul-de-sac where some newer homes were getting built. If you live in the St. Louis area, Creve Coeur is one of the most desirable places to live. It's also one of the most expensive places to live, as with the great quality of life comes high expenses. That's just the way things work. Unfortunately, most people won't ever be able to afford to live in a suburb like Creve Coeur. However, there's plenty of other affordable St. Louis suburbs that can offer a really good quality of life. You don't necessarily have to live in a place like this in order to be happy. If you have the money, however, I don't see why you wouldn't consider moving here. Thanks, biker dude. You're cool. Shortly, we're going to be completely within the city of Ladue, but for now we're going to be riding the border. And now we're officially within the city limits of Ladue. If you thought that Creve Coeur had a high median household income, Ladue's is nearly double. Ladue is home to 8,500 people and the median household income is $192,000? Wow. 82% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher and the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $835,000? My goodness. As you can expect, the crime stats are pretty low, and the public schools are rated pretty high. Just like with nearby Creve Coeur, there's not much history here. It's basically just a suburb that grew from suburban expansion just like much of St. Louis County.
Among the most well-known people from Ledoux include Andrew Bush, who's a former chairman for Anheuser-Busch, Andrew Taylor, the CEO of Enterprise Rent-A-Car, in which the headquarters of said company is located in nearby Clayton, Fox Sports play-by-play -play announcer Joe Buck grew up in the area, and Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott went to high school at John Burroughs, which is right behind the trees on the left. You don't actually see the school in the video, but it's there. Trust me. Jenny had the doors off, the radio loud. The night was too cold for t shirts, but too late now. There's nothing like freedom. I'm 16 years old, driving till the sky starts turning gold. I sing to myself just because I like the sound. So I do, I need one now Do I need one now? I like the sound There were no crowds So I do I need one now I don't need one now I wanna run through a field Just to feel the wind in my hair I wanna drive through the night Cause I feel like going somewhere, somewhere. Ahead on the right you'll see a giant high school that's actually bigger than what it looks from the road and it's Ledoux Horton Watkins High School, home of the Rams. US News ranks the high school as the third best in the state for academics. Well, in this video you got to see a pair of St. Louis suburbs that are considered to be amongst the best suburbs of St. Louis. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos on other places like Ledoux and Creve Core can be found in my Missouri playlist and in my St. Louis suburbs playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace!